everyone today's video we gonna be talking about various visa stamps of ireland but before coming to that let's talk about ireland ireland also known as the republic of ireland is a country in northwestern europe Interestingly, more Irish people live outside of Ireland. Since past few years, number of people moving to Ireland has been increased drastically. In 2020, the number of non-Irish nationals were accounted for 12.9% of the total population. So, I thought of exploring all the visa stamps available for immigrants and immigrants. This video is actually going to be for everyone who are planning to move in Ireland for study, work or business purpose. So all together there are 11 types of visa stamp available. Each one indicates a type of permission including activities you can or cannot do in Ireland, time period you are allowed to stay. I'll try to keep the sequence of all the stamps very simple. So I'll mention the name of the stamp, then I'll provide a summary of conditions along with some examples. So let's start with the first stamp, which is stamp zero. So stamp zero indicates a permission to stay in Ireland for a temporary period. Summary of conditions include that you must be of independent means. That means you should be financially secure. Since the nature of the visa is temporary, you can't receive any government benefits and also you can't work or engage in any of the businesses. Some of the examples which I could give you uh, would be if you are a visiting academic of any of the Irish universities or college, if you are living in Ireland as the dependent relative of any of non-EU or Swiss citizen, if you want to extend a short term visit visa due to some exceptional circumstances or if you uh, work here and came here to carry out some of the specific tasks at a limited time. So these could be some of the examples of this visa. Next one is stamp one which indicates permission to work or operate a business in Ireland. So this visa basically talks about employment permit inclusive of different conditions and scenarios which I will not be covering in detail in this video. Next stamp is stamp 1A which is actually a good news for students who have interest in accountancy. A very good example uh, would be study accountancy as trainee and be employed as a trainee accountant. Next one is 1G which indicates that you have finished your studies in Ireland and you have permission to look for employment under the third level graduate program. These are some of the conditions. So basically, this is a time period which you'll get wherein you need to find a job or a sponsor. Next one is related to Stamp 1G, which is for spouses and de facto partners. Earlier, this visa was stated as Stamp 3. However, this has been changed by the government recently. Please read the summary of employment conditions for spouses and de facto uh, partners. One thing which is important to note is that they are permitted to work in the state without the requirement to obtain a work permit. Next one is stamp 2 which is a simple one which indicates a full time study visa. Summary of study visa says that you can't receive any government benefits and you can only work for 20, 20 hours in a week and 40 hours during holidays. This one is related to stamp 2. So for studying courses which are not on the official list of eligible programs, instead of stamp 2, you need to apply for stamp 2A. And these are the summary of the conditions. One of the examples which I can give you would be uh, if you want to study at a private secondary school in Ireland. And then there is a list as well which you can refer which I will put in the description. Next one is stamp 3 which again indicates permission to stay in Ireland for a specified period. Again there will be uh, conditions related to it and I have also provided a summary of those conditions. So an example which I can give you would be let's say if you are a volunteer uh, with any charitable or any non-profit organization then this stamp is for you. There have been some re recent changes that has been done in this stamp. This one is a very important one, it's stamp 4. So this stamp will be given if you have a valid critical skills employment permit for 2 years or a valid employment permit for 5 years 
or if you are a researcher for two years, again with a hosting agreement. And since this one is an important one, I've mentioned all the necessary conditions required. Then the next one is stamp 5, which indicates that you have permission to stay in Ireland without limits on the time and you can remain here. I've also mentioned a note that this stamp will be valid up to the expiry date on your passport. And here is the last one, which is stamp 6, which indicates that you are finally an Irish citizen. So that was it. Honestly, I tried a lot to control myself and not go in detail as each of these stamps have different procedures and it would be so, um, you know, cumbersome to cover everything in one video. So what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll provide you some useful links in the description and if you have any questions, then definitely put your questions in the comment box. I know Ireland has a lot of visa permits. Uh, however, if you want more information in any of them, please feel free to drop a comment. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you again next time. Bye!